Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. You're watching TFB Gun Fest, where we bring you new products from all your favorite manufacturers for 2021, making up for lost time. A lot of conventions that didn't happen this past year or this year for that matter. So we've got videos that we're running on both TFB TV, the main channel, and TFB TV Showtime. You guys may be familiar with that. We launched it last year, so go over, check our videos out. We've got playlists for GunFest on TFB TV and on Showtime. And today we have Burris with us. Burris has a couple of pretty exciting new product announcements, including a whole new set of red dot optics, right, Philip? Yes, indeed. So these are the red dot optics that we announced uh, at SHOT Show 2020. Uh, unfortunately, due to things like COVID, uh, a lot of the actual releases of the product got delayed a bit, but they are all here now. They're all shipping. You can go out to your store and, uh, and get them or order them if they're not in stock because they are pretty darn popular. I have here kind of a, a good, better, best alignment of uh, new red dot optics. We've got the Fast Fire RD which is a, a rifle dot version of the fast fire, you know, the, the classic Burris fast fire that everybody knows and loves. Uh, that one's coming in at, a, uh, at an entry level price point of about 179, runs off of a AAA, uh, battery life's about 20,000 hours. RT1 is a significant step up in terms of, uh, of optical quality and performance. Uh, both of these are two MOA dots, fixed dots, fixed reticle. Uh, digital adjustable brightness, uh, several brightness settings, including night vision only modes. And then of course, we've got the Fast Fire 4, which I know a lot of folks have been waiting on. Having the multiple selectable reticles is uh, a really big feature on that one. We've also widened the lens, improved the coatings on the lens to uh, increase battery life. We're getting uh, about 25,000 hours on the Fast Fire 4 as well. Anything that'll fit a Fast Fire 3 will fit a Fast Fire 4. Okay, incredible. All of this has been released, hasn't been released. Like, what's what's the status of it? You mentioned that you guys brought this out, Chacha 2020, mm -hmm. um, but it never hit the market. Right. Um, the RT1s, I believe, hit around July, August. The Fast Fire RDs uh, were in Q4 of last year, and the Fast Fire 4s have just started shipping at the start okay. of this year. Okay. All right, so the Fast Fire RDs got a 2 MOA dot. RT1 also has a 2 MOA dot. And the Fast Fire 4 is unique. It has four different reticle options. There's going to be a 3 MOA dot, an 11 MOA dot, a, uh, a large circle with the 3 MOA, or sorry, the 11 MOA dot in the center, and then that same large circle with the 3 MOA dot and a pair of wings, uh, horizon wings. Do I have to buy different models to get those different reticles, or they all come? They all are standard on there. So it's going to have uh, one button on one side operates the brightness, the other button on the other side changes the reticle. Ah, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fast Fire RD has a fixed uh, fixed mount, uh, so it won't it won't fit on uh, on a, a T1 or anything, I don't believe. But uh, the mounting base actually has uh, the spot for a AAA in there, so it runs off of a single AAA battery, uh, which is where it's getting that massive battery life from. Okay, and then mounting options for? Uh, this one should be, uh, what's the one that's not the T1? Uh, the MRO, exactly. So the RT1 is going to be based on the MRO, MRO platform. I do have, it's going to come with a uh, raised platform as well as the low mounting platform if you wanted to put it. Uh, on something that requires a little bit lower mount. Fast Fire 4 is going to run off of the same mounting footprint as the Fast Fire 3, Fast Fire 2, and the original Fast Fire. For those of you that are familiar with the ARF3 mount or the Picatinny protector mount where it has the, uh, the aluminum wings that come up uh, on the sides of the optic to protect the, uh, the, the lens housing. Uh, obviously, since we have a wider lens now, um, we, we did have to redesign that, so we do have a new uh, ARF4 mount coming to uh, accommodate that housing. Talk to me about waterproofing for these. All of these are going to be completely watertight. Um, one thing that I will mention is on the Fast Fire 4, so we've got a pretty unique little feature here. Got your standard uh, micro red dot sight, uh, similar profile to every other micro red dot sight out there. However, this one does have a removable cover. Uh, you may be familiar with the ones from the Fast Fire 3. Some folks would complain that they tended to pop off under recoil, especially when they're mounted on a pistol. So what we did is we fashioned this little guy, which does have a lens in the back. It fits down into uh, the recess there of that, uh, of that lens housing. And then there are two hex screws that uh, go into the back. That way you can maintain your uh, top mount battery, uh, which we improved the battery cap on it as well. 
uh, but you can maintain that top mount battery, not have to take it off to replace the battery. Screw that sucker in so that it won't uh, go anywhere under recoil, and you are uh, rain and dust proof uh, at that point. Okay, but without the housing on there, then you wouldn't submerge this in your, your pool in the backyard, right? Uh, without the housing, uh, I, I wouldn't have any problem at all submerging it. Okay, so I mean... I mean, I wouldn't go Navy SEAL swimming with it. Yeah, sure. I, I'm going to be completely happy. Uh, if it takes a dunk or something like that. Right, sure. So if I've got the fast fire mounted on something, on a handgun, rifle, um, why would I want to add that housing then? Uh, so a lot of folks we've noticed that when you're carrying around, especially in, in your holster, uh, you've got your uh, your duty holster or whatnot, it's, it's like a cup. It just, all it does is collect dust, collect pocket lint, collect everything under the sun. Um, and instead of having to sit there and fish all that stuff out at the end of every day, uh, some folks prefer to have that, uh, that covering. Uh, that way you've got a nice flat surface. Your actual optical lens is, uh, is nice and clean and it's a much, much easier effort to clean off this back lens that's nice and flat as opposed to this lens that's recessed in there. Uh, and all you can really do is kind of get the end of your pinky in it. I almost feel like I should have thought of that myself. <laughs> Actually, that makes complete and total sense to me. Well, Philip, thanks a ton for sharing this with us. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more. We've got a couple other things from yes. Burris, and we're going to be bringing you more from GunFest 2021. Thanks for watching.